Hi guys, so in today's video we are going to talk quickly about our equation of a line. So this falls into the coordinate geometry section and relates to us being able to create equations of a line given key information. So our first version of the equation of the line is the formula y equals mx plus c. Now this can be found on page 18 of your formula booklets, so you don't need to know this off by heart. So what does y equals mx plus c actually represent? Well the m represents the slope of the line and the c represents the y intercept. So if you know those two bits of information, you can sub them into this equation and you have the equation of your line. So if we have a look at this straight line graph, we have to create the equation of the line. So the two bits of information that we need is the slope and the y-intercept. So let's start with the slope. Now the way that you read the slope off a graph is that you pick two points on the graph that go through the crosshairs of your x and y ax of your x and y lines. So for example, we could pick this point and this point, and we measure how far up it's gone and how far across the line has gone. So I'm just going to redraw that there so we can see with our right angle triangle that we have, we're going from 0 to 1 on the x-axis, so that's a change of 1, and we're going from 1 to 3 on the y-axis, so that's a change of 2. And our formula for the slope is equals to the change in the y divided by the change in the x. Sometimes we call that rise over run. So that's going to be equals to 2 over 1, which gives us 2. So we know the slope of this graph is 2, and the y-intercept is where it cuts through the y-axis. So we can see that our line cuts through the y-axis at the point 0, 1, which is just there. So the space where it crosses the y-axis is at the point 0, 1. Now all we need to do is put those two pieces of information together into our formula y equals mx plus c. So y stays there, m changes to 2, x stays as it is, and the c becomes plus 1. And that's our equation of a line. So reading that now, we can say with confidence that 2 is the slope and that 1 or the point zero, 1 is our y-intercept. Okay, so in these couple of examples, we're going to look at if we're given the equation of a line, what is the key information that we can read from it? Looking at the first example, we can see that there's a 5 in front of the x, and the number in front of the x is always the slope. So we can say that the slope, which we sometimes label m, is equals to 5. And we can see that the number by itself is minus 3, so therefore the y-intercept is equals to minus 3. Nice and straightforward. Moving on to the second example, we need to be really careful with this one because remember, the slope is always the number in front of the x. So it's just the opposite way around in this example. So therefore, m, or the slope, is equals to 2. The number that's by itself then is the y-intercept, so therefore, the y-intercept is equals to 4. Coming down to our third example, this one is a little bit trickier because we know our equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. However, at the moment, it's 2y, which is not the form that we want it to be in. So to get rid of the 2, we have to divide across by 2 on both sides. So 2 into 2 goes, so we're left with y. Then we ask ourselves 10x divided by 2, that gives me 5x. And minus 6 divided by 2 gives me minus 3. Therefore, m, or the slope, is equals to 5, and the y-intercept is equals to minus 3. Last example, we want our equation to be again in the form y equals mx plus c, so I need to get rid of this minus 5, so I'm going to plus 5 to both sides, so therefore y is equals to 7x plus 5, so my slope is going to be equals to 7 and my y-intercept is equals to 5. 